Hello beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you're doing really, really well. And um, hello again. I haven't talked to you or done any videos for so, so, so long. Little update. Obviously I've given birth to my little girl. She's now nine months old. Um, family's doing well. Kids are doing well. Um, X and I aren't back together, but we're really good friends and we're working together for the family, so that's all good. But anyway... I want to come back. Um, I really start have started feeling um, the presence of the Holy Spirit again, and God is calling me back. And so I've been doing a lot of study in the last couple of days, and the Lord has been really super blessing me with wisdom and understanding in His Holy Word. And basically, I wanted to share things that I have found, and. Um, yeah, so I'm going to share the things that I've found, but I'm going to keep my videos nice and short and just try and upload as much as I can. So, the first thing I want to show you is, this is actually um, Second Esdras, and this is the Apocrypha that's in the Bible, but you know, it's got the Maccabees, and it's in some Bibles. But anyway, think of that what you will. Uh, but I just wanted to read this little paragraph for you. It says, um, and this is from 2 verse 10 onwards. The Lord says to Ezra, Announce to my, pe to my new people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I plan to give to Israel. I will take the dazzling light of my present presence away from Israel and give to my new people the eternal temple that I have prepared for Israel. The tree of life will fill the air around them with its fragrance and they will never have to work. They will never grow tired. Ask and you will receive. Pray that the number of the days you have to wait will be reduced. Even now the kingdom has been prepared uh, for you. So stay alert. Call heaven and earth to witness that I, the living God, have abolished evil and created good. Mother Jerusalem, take your children in your arms. Guide their, safe, uh, guide their steps in safe paths. Raise them with the same delight that a dove has raised in her young. I, the Lord, have chosen you. I will raise your dead from the graves because I recognize them as my people. Jerusalem, mother of these people, do not be afraid. I, the Lord, have chosen you. I will send my servants, Isaiah and Jeremiah, to help you. At their request, I have consecrated and prepared you. Twelve trees, heavy with different kinds of fruit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make note of that. Okay, that straight away, the Holy Spirit put on my heart big time, was the two witnesses. Have we discovered something here? Has the Lord uh, revealed something here? I pray that um, anyone who has good discernment with the Lord, I pray that you may pray on this. And see what you see. Um, like I said, there is a bit of contention with using the Apocrypha, but um, in my heart, my soul, and I've been pretty much convicted 100% that the Apocrypha are books, uh, books from the Lord. Um, and, you know, I just, I take what the Lord gives me and I'm just putting it out here to share. Uh, ants are biting me. Ouch. Um, but yeah, it's a blessed day. It's a beautiful day. I'm just sitting out here while the little girls are having a sleep. But I thought I'd share that with you. Isn't that incredible? So here we've got God taking his promise from Israel and giving it to the new people, which is the church, the Christians, the new believers. And it goes on to say too, um, I think in the previous thing, um, something about that these people that are going to receive this new covenant, they, you know, they're going to believe him, believe um, in some uh, in the Messiah, even though they haven't seen him. They're going to believe in their hearts, his miracles, even though they, that, excuse me, even though they haven't witnessed them. And it's exactly what the New Testament says to us. So, if something can state what the Scripture states and doesn't contra contradict it, then it is um, ordained by God, as far as I'm concerned. But each to their own on that. I just wanted you to like rejoice in that 
and also like wow Jeremiah and Isaiah wouldn't that make sense and weren't we told in Daniel uh, the Daniel 9 1 I think it is he said I understood by the books um, in Jeremiah that it was going to be 70 years to the desolation of Jerusalem so that's where we get our generation from where Jesus confirms it again saying that um, you know these all these things will happen in one generation and I know we've gone through dates and whatever and um, all I can say is we've got a few generation end dates which would one be uh, well pretty much we've gone to the second last one which was on November the 29th uh, last year for the um, two-state solution but now we've got um, the date in May I'm not quite sure where it was when they actually put it forward that two-state solution and that comes up you know obviously in May this year and um, yeah I don't know and with, with what Trump did with Israel that's got to be significant um, with Jerusalem you know um, and I'm doing a big study into Trump too so the Lord has been revealing a lot on my heart and yeah so I pray that this comes to you and you're happy and being blessed and um, can see that we're soon to go home okay I love you my brothers and sisters and it's good to be back amen